here is an important tip that I am going to convey through a small program. So let's start with this little story of two brothers, Ram and Lakshman. All right. Let's say Ram's bank balance is one lakh, and his bank loan, Ram's bank loan, is let's say five lakhs. Lakshman, his brother's bank loan, is uh, his brother's bank balance is let's say 20 lakhs and his bank loan is let's say 10 lakhs all right do you observe something here isn't it indeed confusing to call it a b c and d isn't it important that we make the variable sort of self-explanatory and that we need not break our head down what exactly did I say just now? Was it bank balance or loan? Was it the uh, was it the brother Ram or the brother Lakshman? Right. So it's easy if I were to simply name this as Ram bank balance. Ram bank um, balance maybe. Okay. And then here instead of B I can say Ram loan. Instead of C I can say Lakshman bank balance. This character is called underscore that I'm typing. It looks like dash, but it's a little below dash at the line level. And then I'll say Lakshman loan. All right. Now with this, it's, it's sort of easy for me to calculate the assuming that these two are brothers staying in the same house. And uh, I would say the, the net income of the house is Ram's bank balance plus Lakshman's bank balance uh, right uh, and let's say the net liability net liability is what they owe okay Ram's loan plus Lakshman's loan makes sense now the final value let's say whatever that is is net income minus net liability right and then i'll print the final value hoping that there are no errors right now okay let's see so the final value is six lakhs so the family has let's say so the family has so the family has six lakhs. Let's say, okay. Let me restart this kernel. Then let me re-execute it. The, so the family has six lakhs. If uh, let's say Ram's loan or let's say even Lakshman's loan was a little more, let me put another zero here, thus making it um, how much? Ten la uh, one crore. So the family has minus eight. 84 lakhs loan so if it's minus if it's if it's minus it will be uh, liability if it's plus it's it's the surplus it's the extra right so isn't it easy on your mind when i say when i give the variables like this than say a b c and d right here's an important tip tip number one try to make your variables self-explanatory okay second tip is add comments Right? How do you add comments? You add comments by putting a hash followed by whatever you type here is to be ignored by the computer. Right? Nothing will happen when you put a, a ha hash like this. So still you get the answer as it is, as you can see. Correct? So whatever you type after hash, the computer will ignore it. So what I'll do is then why 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 would why why I mean, so why why are people mad enough to <laughs> put a hash followed by something if the computer ignores what is the need for us to put there the need for us to put something after hash is because sometimes when we declare a variable like this we would know what we are doing but after a few days we will forget what exactly was the reason why we declared this variable especially if the code goes to several thousands of lines we are bound to forget despite are being careful and giving variables that are real life like still will forget so what i'll say is the rams bank 
balance note that this is positive positive okay ram's loan this is his this is to be returned by him and hence will count again the next line if you want to come it you should put hash once again will count as negative all right and lakshman's bank balance is self explanatory okay net income generally you put the comment below it you can also consider putting above it not a problem net income net income is the total is the total bank balance of the two brothers right net liability is net liability is the total loan of the brothers of the family rather final value final value is the family's final um uh, let's say final money could be positive or negative right so the family has so and so as you can see nothing changes i'm executing it one once again and then you see nothing changes when you include comments comment is only for you for your purpose just to ensure that if you see it after a few days or weeks or months or sometimes even years you know a, a software engineer writes a piece of code running into several thousands of lines and someone else takes a look at it it must make sense and it will make sense only if you have taken care of the variables made it very sort of human friendly reader friendly programmer friendly secondly you have included a lot of comments so what we will do is from the one words we will include a lot of comments in our program it's a very 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 good programming practice didn't mean to exaggerate it indeed is for one to put a lot of comments it's a very good programming practice but unfortunately many many people don't do it for some reason maybe they're lazy or they don't want to kill their flow of thoughts by including comments but trust me maybe you can try writing the code the way i did and then come back and then write comments before you close the compiler ensure that the code that you have written is commented that's a good programming practice